Benton County residents will head to the polls later this month for a special election voting for a Benton County Courts facility. This morning, we have the pleasure of having Benton County Judge Barry Mooring joining us. Uh, Judge Mooring, we appreciate it. Sure. Good morning, Chris. Great uh, to be here. Uh, well, let's stick with the weather thing for a second. Sure. Uh, from a county's perspective, uh, you just informed us, and this is uh, knowledge to our viewing audience, you're shutting down uh, county offices today. Yeah, when, when all the school districts close and we know that its temperatures are going to remain low and dangerous, uh, it's just a safety issue for county offices to be closed, so non-essential personnel won't have to report. Obviously, dispatchers, folks who are working on the roads, the sheriff's office, those folks will still all be on the job today. But we don't want people to head in and uh, potentially put themselves in danger. From the county's perspective, what's your plan of action as far as treating roads when you see impending weather like this coming ahead? Well, so our road department's been working all weekend on this, mm -hmm. uh, pre-treating the roads, then treating as they as the storm comes in. What surprised us last night a little bit is this, this is a little bit of snow that came in that we weren't expecting. So even as of 9 o'clock last night, the school districts were still all open. Yeah. And then surprise, you know, northwest Arkansas weather, here we go. go. Uh, and so they're out this morning. We'll have crews out at about 4 o'clock this morning out getting the roads uh, hit. There you go. Uh, let's talk about this special election. Uh, what will people be voting on? So what people will be voting on on March 12th or an early voting starting tomorrow is to vote for or against a one eighth cent sales tax for a new courts facility in Benton County. Uh, one eighth cent sales tax is the lowest increment you can go. It's about 12 cents on $100 of spend. And no doubt it's a new tax, and, and people certainly are, are concerned about that. But this is a badly needed facility for all of Benton County. Uh, we'll provide safety and security for the public. We'll keep our inmates detained. We'll provide safety for the judiciary. Uh, and we'll actually provide for more parking in downtown Bentonville. There you go. Um, what are some of the changes? You mentioned it briefly. What are some of those changes coming to the courthouse? Well, so we have three facilities in Bentonville right now, and so the, the, the most significant change, and three, three inadequate facilities, frankly, most significant change is this will be a new building where all of our judges who are in downtown Bentonville today will be under one roof, the circuit court clerk will be under one roof, one security entrance, appropriate detention space, modern contemporary courtrooms, lots of space for people to spread out, lots of uh, convenient space for the public. And at the same time, by doing that in downtown Bentonville, we'll continue to use the buildings we have, including the historic courthouse, the old post office, and other buildings as a part of a court's campus. Playing devil's advocate for a second, mm -hmm. some people out may sure. be opposed to this as far as, well, we don't need a new courthouse. Why is this so important? Well, the, the need for the courthouse isn't as controversial as, as the new tax for one, right. and I understand that. The need is pretty clear. I mean, we are inconveniencing our citizens today. Our security is not as tight as it should be. Uh, we're directing people to three different places, and then we don't have a good place for them to park once they get there. And so there's a lot of reasons why the, why the need is there. On the tax side, as the Quorum Court and myself we struggled with this for many months right. to come up with this solution and we came up with one where the building will be paid off in five years no long-term debt and it's the smallest increment tax that you can ask for all right how can folks get to the polls and uh, begin voting well the polls open tomorrow we're gonna have seven early voting locations starting tomorrow uh, around the county you can go to bentoncountyar.gov to find out where those locations are and then on the 12th next Tuesday we'll have 34 uh, early voting locations open for the public there you go and you also have three more Town hall meetings, one tonight tentatively scheduled. We do. We've got one tonight in Salem Springs yeah. at the library at 6 o'clock. Uh, tomorrow night, uh, we're in Rogers at our annex on Walnut. And then on Wednesday, we're at the American Legion in Cave Springs. All of those are at 6 o'clock. Those are our last three. We really encourage the public to come to those. There you go. We'll have more information uh, about this uh, Benton County special election. It'll all be on our website later this morning, nwahomepage.com. Judge Mooring, thank you for joining us. We thank you. It. Great. Thanks for being here.